Hey everyone, last question. Let's take a look. It says, which of the following statements is correct? Okay, the T distribution is exactly equal to the standard normal distribution when the sample size is equal to 30. Okay, so as soon as I see that we're talking about the T distribution, and I can see it in all of the answers, all right, that's going to be, uh, well, if we're talking about the T distribution, that got introduced in Chapter 8, and it also came up in Chapter 9. And keep in mind, the T distribution, oh, let me let me make a better line here, there, like that. The T distribution looks a lot like the Z distribution. So if I was going to draw the Z, I'd put it there. But the T, and I'll just kind of sketch it, it looks a lot like it, except it has higher tails and a lower peak. Right, that's the t distribution, but they're both centered at zero. Uh, the standard normal ha curve has the standard deviation of one. T, it's a little bit different. But what happens is, as your sample size increases, right, th these tails get closer and closer to the z curve, and then this peak gets closer and closer to the z curve. And right around n equaling thirty is when we don't really detect that much of a difference. All right, so let's see what, what we got here. So the T distribution is exactly equal to the standard normal when um, the sample size is 30. Anytime I see this phrase exactly equal, that would make me nervous. And I do wanna reiterate, it's not exactly equal, it's pretty close, right? It's close enough that we, we can't really tell a difference, but I don't like the phrase exactly equal, so I, I'm gonna say that's not, not okay. The T distribution, ah, this is better, right? Approximately equal to the standard um, normal when the sample size is 150. I would say that is true, it is approximately equal, um, and that's well over that threshold of 30, so B could possibly be an answer. All right, the T distribution is exactly equal to the standard normal when the sample size is less than 30. Oh, that's super wrong. Less than 30 is a bad way to go. I mean, if anything, you want to be more than 30. And again, that phrase exactly equal makes me a little skeptical. The T distribution is, okay, approximately equal to the standard normal when the sample size is, no, less than 30. That's a bad phrase. I don't want that one either. So I'm going to go with B. That is the best answer that I can see inside of those. All right, thanks.